Good morning, guys. So today I wanted to show you how you can make a ring using the bypass ring builder. So if we just go to the bypass ring builder, we have a line that we can work with. And if we choose to add a bridge toggle, we can have some more information here. And we can use this to get some back. So the first thing we're going to do is just play around with the shape a little bit. Uh, we can just something like this if we want to. We can just create a basic shape, but we don't really need to dictate how the last ring is going to look like. So we can always put an outside ring there and like the original one. And we're going to have an outside ring rail, but it's wiper. So if we edit the first one, the second one will follow. Okay. So you can see we're just editing one and the other one follows. The same would happen if we edit the finger size. Okay. So with this information, what we can do now is add profile. So we can simply use profile data to an outer ring rail and this one. We choose this one. All we need to do is just change the projection, the placement method, okay? And if we do mirror, we're gonna have mirroring the other direction, okay? So if we change one end, the other one will follow, okay? So this allows us, if we change the profile to something like this, this other one is gonna change as well. So if we add another one here, for example, and we do add mirror, we're gonna have the other one on the other side. So we could do something like this, for example, I'm just making this up, but if for example, I wanted to add third profile in here and make it slightly wider, I could have all my profiles here. So now if I go to a tip the rail and just choose my profile, okay? As you can see now, I have a ring already finished and something quite cool I can go back to my first initial ring wave the bypass one of course and I can change it okay so this is just an example I can also edit the outside one and it's going to change and now I can play with this to generate geometry and I can also Got my profile, get this one, and make it fair. Okay, so based on this, what I can do now is pick up the German ring ray, for example, and then when it comes to select the ring ray, all I need to do is to select the bridge toggle that I made before at the very beginning. Okay, something like that. And let's say I want to make a solider, for example, right? So I could do a head. And something that I could do, for example, is uh, make this angle a bit further in. And something that I usually do is just remove the ray count. And now with a bezel, not the bezel, sorry. Okay, so as you can see, now I made a head and I got a chunk in there. So now if, for example, I want to make the setting look a bit more paper, then very easily do that. Okay, so it looks a bit nicer. Okay, and again, because everything is parametric, I can go back to my first command that I use, which is the bypass ring ray. Click at it. If I want to change the finger size, everything is going to update. Okay. I can change everything at any given time and everything will follow. Okay. The uh, last thing that I haven't done here is to do a cut to ring rail. I select it. Okay. But that's it. Okay.
Hope you like it. Thank you so much.